Well, I guess I can't call you boys and girls because this car is made for hmm, ladies and gentlemen. This is the BMW i7. This car is um, fabulous. That's the only word I can tell you. I took this home for the weekend. It turns heads. Without a question of a doubt, it is a driver car. I mentioned before, when I drive the Teslas or anybody's car, I always, I always compare it. Does it drive like a BMW? This is a BMW and certainly it does drive like a BMW. This thing is quick, very quick. I put it into sport and this morning on the way to work, I decided I was going to do something. And the reason for that is because I ran into a small situation trying to merge onto 75, I-75 today. A moron decided, I don't know, to uh, basically stop in the, in, the, uh, in the lane that I'm trying to get into. I, I don't know why he wanted to do that or she, but I know one thing for sure, I can drive. And I hit the gas and I went from about 65 miles an hour to 100 miles in, an hour in less than a second. I'm positive of that because I trounced it, I felt the car hop and move, and, and I was safe, and this other moron pulled off to the side shoulder, the soft shoulder. I'm telling you what, that alone makes me happy about this because I would not want to wreck this $150,000 vehicle that BMW has lent me. Now, I will tell you, I brought it over to a friend of mine's house, Don Ronkel. Don Ronkel is not a fan of electric vehicles, but him and his wife, and his son and his soon-to-be uh, daughter-in-law had a chance to sit around in this thing and examine it not necessarily as the ultimate driving machine but as an electric car and by the way both of them own BMWs but this vehicle is a part this is a better vehicle than what they have and I'm going to show you some reasons why now You've already seen Jordan. He already has told you about um, the back seat and what it can do. Okay, so all of the, oh, and that's nice too. It opens all by itself. So in the back seat, this large screen comes down. All these blinds come up. And the next thing you know, you are in the lap of luxury. Now, I worked for BMW, or sorry, I worked for uh, Rolls-Royce, and Bentley before they were bought. And after they were purchased, I worked for VW Bentley and I worked for Rolls-Royce BMW. And this is a step above. Nobody has a back seat like this. I mean, the front seats, they have, uh, they have uh, massaging, back massage stuff. And after my wife, uh, my cruel taskmaster, made me do all the stuff in the gardening and everything else. By the time we were ready to go to that party on Sunday, my back was killing me. I sat in that thing, and, I'm, and I'm, by the time we got there, I was, I was feeling wonderful. I'm telling you, uh, <clears throat> um, when, when Damien sat in the back seat and figured out how to make it recline and the footrest come up and whatnot, his words, you know, this is really cool. I like this. That is not what I was expecting out of Damien. This is a fabulous, fabulous car. If you're a rich guy, that's your seats and they are comfortable. I, I can't begin to tell you how much I really appreciate what BMW has done to make this car the car that it is right now. And I do love something else. I keep, you, I keep forgetting about them but I love the uh, fact that the doors will close by themselves. This is something that people have been going on and on about for a long time and nobody had, nobody did it. So here's the thing. This is the BMW i7. This is the car that I would like to have Rolls Royce or BMW let us take for a little roundabout uh, kind, of, uh, kind of exercise. And there's two reasons. One, this is a spectacular car. Now this is running about a half a million dollars, whereas this one here is coming in at around 130, 140,000. It's, you can get it cheaper than that, but that's, I think what that one's worth. Here's the real magic though. Look at that, opera doors. 
Sandy has been very, very excited about opera doors forever. There's a lot of reasons. Number one, they're better from a crashworthy standpoint, but some moron at one time called them suicide doors. Who was that? Uh, I think that would be some kind of reporter that wanted to sell newspapers. These doors are fabulous. They get they so much easier to get in and out of. And quite frankly, if this car operates anything like this car, I really want to know about it. Now, 500,000, is Sandy going to buy one of these? No. Am I going to buy a $150,000 car? Mm, probably not. I'm pretty happy with, uh, with the cars I've got. I got the Lightning, I got the, um, um, I got the Model S, or sorry, the uh, Model 3. That's probably enough for me. But if I was wealthy and, uh, and, and I wanted to drive around in New York City and I wanted to be comfortable and do my homework or do work on the way to work, right here, friends, this thing is fab. I, I haven't given any comments to anything that's been luxury uh, so far that I've really done all by myself. This thing, I just can't get enough of. So um, for those of you who are um, thinking about buying stuff, let me, uh, <clears throat> let me give you the, uh, the rundown. <clears throat> so this goes anywhere from 105,000 to 150,000, or you can go to the Celic. That starts at 340,000 and can get up to 400,000. And then, if you're going to get up to 400,000, this Rolls-Royce is coming in at 422 to 500,000. You know, this is way, way, way beyond anything I would ever reach into my, I don't need, my house doesn't even cost 500,000. So at the end of the day, this is for somebody else, but I'm telling you, the somebody else that buys this is going to be mighty happy. One complaint, no frunk. What were you guys thinking? That needs to be redesigned. There's so much wasted space in here. You need to redesign that and put in a frunk. Other than that, uh, and it's got too many dials. I, uh, I don't like all the bling, but you know what? This car is special and there's no question about it. BMW, thank you for letting us use your car. Um, and uh, by the way, for all those uh, <clears throat> All those folks are conspiracy theorists and why not? No, I'm not getting paid for this. I don't get paid for anything. Well, I do. I get paid for running that place. But I'm telling you right now, I only get excited about a few things. So long. Thank you for watching Monroe Live.